at this area, you know where I am. This is the massive bridge. Boston, this is where I just came from. I realized that I started this YouTube channel uh, January 1st, January 1st, right after New Year's. Because I had just gotten an iPhone and I decided, you know what? I should some video and upload it just to see how it works basically everybody who's over here is just jogging their asses off Three of them are really like usable. You gotta take stuff from different angles. You might get different light or whatever, but no, there's too much cloud cover out here. I'm getting the same picture over and over. And I know people hate when I do that because it's jumpy. I'm thinking about maybe just standing still, but I, I'm like a shark. I always have to move. they do is on the bridge they mark off how far it is to Cambridge and back to Boston or how far it is the MIT's campus what have you on either side of the bridge again that's the other side they measure it in something called smoots see to MIT 364.4 smoots in one ear there's a scientist slash professor at MIT, his name was Smoot, so they measured the bridge in his total height. The sit go sign. The greatest thing about this city is that you'll have something brand new or modern right next to something that's been there for like 300 years. And then you have people taking pictures of shit all around them. Like, do you have any idea how old this building right here is? Look at that door. People walk past this every day. And then here's the, like, the modern entrance. But do you have any idea how old this building is? Look at what it's made of. You know the brownstones, they stopped making buildings of brownstone because they realized that what wouldn't stand up to New England weather. Yeah, it took them about 150 years to realize that. Look at this fucking building. Look how old it is. Look at the architecture. There are a lot of these on Mass Ave. They've been redone, of course. I'm off to the other spot that I was going to. So I'm gonna say one. <laughs> 